Do you hear it? It's absolutely pouring in Ohio right now. But you know what? I love days like this. I just wish that I didn't have to go to work. So, <laughs> your girl's been with Yahweh again. Does that even, I mean, does that shock anyone? No? Okay, listen. So, I already, I already shared this with my church. I have to get on here and share it with my TikTok fam, ma'am. So, y'all know that God has me just chilling in Exodus right now, and it's unbelievable. But he has me going backwards, back to the beginning of Exodus. Look, he's on to something. I'm just in the waiting. I'm just in the waiting. He's teaching me. I'm going to listen. And in Exodus chapter 3, verses 7 through 8, it says, The Lord said, I have indeed seen the misery of my people in Egypt. I have heard them crying out because of their slave drivers, and I am concerned about their suffering. So I have come down to rescue them from the hand of the Egyptians and to bring them up out of that land and into a good and spacious land, a land flowing with milk and honey. Listen, <laughs> just like the Israelites, just like then, he is doing the same thing now. God sees us next to the well. God sees us under the fig tree. God sees our struggles and our pain. God sees us all the time. Listen, he laid this so heavy on my spirit and whispered in my ear. I still see. I still hear. I still rescue. Did you hear that? Is this microphone on? God still sees. He still hears. And he still rescues. Nikki, what do you mean by that? He sees us at all times. He sees us in the suffering. He sees us in the good. He is constantly looking out for his creation. He hears us. He longs for that conversation with us. He longs for us to come to him in our spare time. He wants us to make an appointment. He wants us to come to him every hour of every day if it was up to him. Listen, he longs for that. Our prayers, our shouts, our, our pleas, our moaning, our groaning, it's a sweet aroma to his nostril. Do you hear that? It's a sweet aroma to his nostrils. I think I said that yesterday too. He longs to hear us and he answers. He don't just hear, he answers. We have seen the miracles and he rescues. He leaves the 99 for the one. Listen, he is God Yahweh and who he was in the very beginning, he still is now. He has not changed, nor will he ever. He is our Father, our Savior, our very best friend. Can we just rejoice? Can we just praise him? 